Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Royal Highness of Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with several heads of Ramadan majlises within the Kingdom of Bahrain at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness reconfirmed the Kingdom's commitment to achieving its development goals through the implementation of strategies, programs and plans. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad highlighted the economic recovery plan and noted the importance of joint efforts to achieve the Kingdom's visions and development as led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad highlighted that the kingdom's economic trajectory indicates favorable growth across various sectors and noted the kingdom's commitment to development goals that benefit Bahraini citizens. His Royal Highness extended congratulations to the heads of a number of majlises on the holy month of Ramadan, noting the importance of Ramadan majlises in furthering societal bonds, cohesion and integration among Bahraini families. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister observed that current global challenges can be addressed by a collaborative approach as demonstrated by the Kingdom's united efforts over two years in tackling the global COVID-19 pandemic. In this regard, His Royal Highness noted that overcoming these challenges will rely upon the united efforts of one team, Bahrain. For their part, the Midwest heads extended their gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and for his continued engagement with the Kingdom's citizens. They wish the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the guidance of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials also attended. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Azana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS meeting, in the presence of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Azana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the council's members. Azana Sheikh Nasser reiterated his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of His Majesty's naming the current year, the Year of Bahraini Youth. During the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Nasser received GSA's report from His Highness Sheikh Khalid and its content was reviewed, which included GSA's achievements since its launch and the details of His Highness Sheikh Khalid's visits to national clubs and sports federations. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed appreciation for His Highness Sheikh Khalid's efforts to continue the development of the sports sector in the kingdom. The project of laying out the Olympic Park was suggested and His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the suggestion affirming that the project will contribute to the development of the sports infrastructure in the kingdom and increase sports tourism. He directed to include the suggestion as part of the Sports City project in Sakhir. The Ministry of Education delivered a comprehensive presentation on the sports school project and the topic of opening school facilities for athletes was discussed. His Highness Sheikh Nasser directed the concerned authorities to discuss the mechanism of providing the facilities. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commended the project of the sports school presented by the Minister of Education, which will be implemented for the intermediate stage and will increase sports classes. He praised the efforts of the Ministry of Education to collaborate with the sports sector in the Kingdom to enhance school sports. The Minister of Health delivered a presentation on the Health Insurance Fund project, noting the SCYS's role in raising awareness on health in the community, and as Ayah Sheikh Nasser lauded the health sector's endeavors in this context. Representatives Council Speaker Fawzia Zainal praised Bahrain's effective foreign policy and its achievements thanks to the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his visions would charted an approach for the Kingdom's diplomacy based on moderation and balance. The Representatives Council Speaker commended the role of Bahrain's diplomatic corps within the framework of the distinguished efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. She was speaking as she received in her office Bahrain's 
ambassador to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa. They discussed ways of promoting cooperation to achieve the desired goals and highlighted the civilizational accomplishments brought about under the Comprehensive Development March led by His Majesty the King. The ambassador lauded the continuous parliamentary efforts to serve the nation and citizens and highlighted the kingdom's democratic approach and rich human rights record. He, she expressed constant keenness to further deepen constructive partnership with the legislative branch to serve joint national goals. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al-Salih, received Bahrain's ambassador to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al-Khalifa. Al-Salih affirmed that Bahraini diplomacy is witnessing advancement since the launch of His Majesty the King's reform project, noting that His Majesty's prosperous era was a milestone for bolstering cooperation and building solid relations with world countries. Al-Salih stated the Bahraini diplomacy reflects the national achievements and successes in all fields, asserting that parliamentary diplomacy plays an effective and a positive role in highlighting developmental strategies and plans implemented by the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Al Saleh expressed appreciation for the contributions of Bahrain's embassy in the U.S. and the dedicated efforts of Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid to deepen historic ties and Bahraini-U.S. relations for decades. For his part, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid hailed the Shura Council's legislative work commending the effective and honorable presence of its members in international parliamentary events. The National Space Science Agency, NSSA, in cooperation with Clever Play Orbital Space and Starlab Oasis, organized a virtual workshop to introduce the Experiment in Space initiative in the presence of over 76 participants, including university students, faculty members, specialists and researchers within a number of research centers in the kingdom. The workshop comes as part of NSSA's efforts to achieve its strategic objectives of increasing national capabilities advancing space science at the national level and promoting innovation and development in line with the kingdom's economic vision of 2030. The workshop will contribute to encouraging students, academics and researchers to engage in space science, its applications and the enhancement of research fields related to it by sending an experiment to the International Space Station, which in turn enhances the quality of education and positively affect the classification of higher education institutions in global indicators related to science research.